Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas Realtor with Signature Real Estate Group and we're back here again at Falcon Crest by Woodside Homes. We just got finished touring the Plan 1, the Talon Plan 1 and she is a beauty with that exterior. We're out here in Summerlin West, it's a brand new development called Kestrel. We're located right off of the I-215 in Lake Mead and look how close we are to the mountains. It is beautiful out here. Only four mile an hour winds today, 97 degrees. We're gonna have a high of 108. We have been getting a little bit of a heat wave. Now today we're gonna be featuring the Kestrel Plan 3. Starts out at 2,218 square feet, up to 2,446 square feet. Base price starts at $724,990 to start. Let's take a closer look. Looks like we got spray on stucco. One thing I like about the spray on stucco is how they do their control joints. You really don't see this too much when you see the skip trawl. Having the control joints definitely gives it a more distinct look. Looking at an eight foot upgraded garage door. We got some LEDs under the eave there. Here on the side, we have our 200 amp panel. This is your photo cell for your coach lighting service door to the garage and we'll check out the backyard in just a second it does look like the run comes pretty far up paper stone driveway now in these models there's quite a bit of elevation out here in summerland so these are on a good size pitch so you have the paper stone walkway and here is our first entry door upgraded in fashion. Now with this model, you do have the option to do the uh, front casita or the three car garage come standard, but this is with the casita option. Very cool setup. I love, I love these three panel doors too. They look very modern in green. And then here's your entryway to the house. Nice little outdoor living area. Very comfortable. Upgraded eight foot front door. Let's take a closer look. Now welcome into the plan three. Kind of spin it around and show your entryway. First thing I notice is the flooring. They've upgraded. Those look like 18 by 36 tiles. Staggered setup with the flow throughout the house. Now welcome to the plan three. Here's your kitchen, dining, and living room. You do have options for the fireplace. You have options to do that triple stacking slider. What a wall. This home has a great feel as soon as you walk into it it extends wide open all this you see here on the wall is more of a custom upgrade but you do have options for low voltage high voltage wherever you want to put them look at this slide this is definitely the star of the show this lets all the energy right in nice and wide open now here in the dining area it's about 18.6 by 11.7 They've added a couple canned lights and you got the fire sprinkler and a pre-wire. In the kitchen, it looks like a five pack of lights with three pendant pre-wires. And this is one of your upgraded islands. They have a few different configurations you can do on the island. This is the largest style. And this is a high level course, level five course on it, two and a half inch on the edge. Have more of a traditional cabinet. shaker style but it does have that traditional look to it so and with the large pools sets it off look at the pedestals on this and did they do the front they sure did another upgrade this is an executive island you got cabinetry for days now this is option your little office niche 42 inch cabinetry in white got the traditional crown double oven option with the microwave on the side more of 
of the courts. Upgraded backsplash. Loving the LEDs as well, definitely complimentary. Turn off all the lights in the house and turn on those LEDs. Now here's your profile cooktop, no griddle in the middle. Very clean. They deleted the four inch backsplash and pulled this all the way up to the vent hood. I love the clean look of this vent hood too. I would take this any day over the vent and micro. Look at the veining on this quartz. Isn't that stunning? Every single piece is a little bit different. Got your sterling undermount, nice upgrade. Very clean on the hardware. More GE appliances, refrigerator, dishwasher, and where are those cookies? I've been looking, look at this hardware. Very clean. We got some spaghetti. Gotta stay away from that pasta. I don't know which one's worse. Pasta or the cookies. Well, I'll tell you what, the kitchen has a good feel. This whole area is definitely built for entertainment. Nice open flow. And the way they design it makes it look very comfortable. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek here in the backyard. Heavy slide. And welcome out back. We are here in Summerlin West. This covered loggia does come included with the paver stones. It's about 20 feet by almost 10 feet wide. Now lot sizes out here will range about 6,000 square feet. They do have some larger ones around. You're gonna get all dirt in your backyard though when you purchase your lot. You'll have probably about six months to get that finished per the HOA. Loving this setup. I always wanted a tree house as a kid. Never did get it. Here's our side yard. Do have some electrical water for your irrigation. Now here at Falcon Crest, they have a total of 110 home sites. They've sold about seven so far. 15,000 to about 100,000 on the lot premiums, depending on location and size. Six to eight month, month build time. If you want to build from dirt and they do have some specs coming up with about a three to four month move in time and those specs are coming in that high 700s around 780,000 I've been seeing HOA at Falcon Crest is $82 a month and then you have the $55 Summerlin master plan HOA now here in the backyard this primary is the door is optional I've always liked these woodside homes they have such creative structural options just like the casita that we're gonna see next it's warming up out here Currently 97 degrees and coming close to that 108 we're going to see today. So let's take a look right here behind in the rear. I wanted to show you we do have flat corner edges as well. And a skip troll texture on the wall. I like the skip troll. Now as we come to the back here we have our secondary bedrooms. I really like this bedroom 3. It's 12 by 11 square feet. Kind of has this little cut in and gives you so much volume in the room. Having these little areas like that adds a lot of flavor. Beautiful room. High ceilings, upgraded lighting. This one is set up with the Jack and Jill bath. So this is bedroom three and then you got bedroom two right on the other side. Upgraded level five quartz. Look at the veining on that. Rectangle undermounts, nice spread on the hardware, fully upgraded. Tub and shower combo. So this is what you get standard, except it'll all be fiberglass. They've added the tiles to the ceiling. And if you'd like any more information or you want to bring me along, help you pick out some structural items, I'd love to walk you through the whole process. And here is bedroom number two. Love it. That pink bed, pink accents, set it off. It's about 10 four by 11 square feet. Has a sliding closet, eight foot doors, and pink walls for days. What do we got right next door? We've got linen. Nice spot for linen in between bedrooms number two and three on this wing of the room, or of the house. 
spin it around. I want to show you a nice little feature they got here on the ceiling, the copper ceilings. Doesn't that give so much design? I love single stories and a single story with a 10 foot ceiling. I approve. All right, so we're gonna get to that casita next, but here is the primary suite. Beautiful, already love it, the volume in here. 15 by 18, four square feet, 10 foot ceilings. Having the extra door with the French door, the glass, adds more light volume. Loving the upgrade here in the niche, so cool. Four can lights and a pre-wire as well. And it does have stereo speakers because she's a model. Extra switches, you can add lots of electrical switches, can lights, here's your Honeywell Home, Wi-Fi controls. Linen closet. And here is the bath. Welcome home. They've upgraded it with the freestanding tub. Another great option through Woodside Homes is to get that freestanding tub. When you can't get it and you have to get the combo that's connected. Oh, beautiful. You can always do it after the fact though. So if the builder doesn't have that option, you could always tear up your, your bath and add one. Tiled up. Here's your shower. Nice, heavy, thick glass. Optional handles. It kind of has that ocean look to it. Nickel finish, brush nickel. And the little ovals. And did I tell you this is tiled to the ceiling? So clean. They pulled it all the way throughout. Very luxury. Now look at this wall. They are waiting on the mirrors. One thing you can do is you can delete your mirrors and the builder will let you, they won't install them. But this is a cool idea. Maybe they won't add the mirrors later, but they will add the mirrors. Look at this quartz. This is a very high level quartz. Such beautiful veining. It does look very clean without the mirrors and I don't mind until I got a you know, shave or something. Now here is the walk-in closet. Two LEDs, you got attic access and a fire sprinkler. And the water closet. I like it. And here's another bath right outside the kitchen area. A little powder for guests. They've upgraded the wall as well. Very nice. All right, so we've seen everything on this wing, the two secondaries and the primary. Where is the next gen? Where is the casita? All right, we're heading to the back. We have access to the garage storage, washroom, locked garage door. Let's go find it. I love that door there. Very nice and private, great for entertainment. And here is the casita. This is where you will find me. Kids are going, where's daddy? It's in the office. I love this space. I would totally delete the garage to add this casita feature. I think it's worth so much. So much value to get to use it. So much value when it comes to resale. Beautifully done. What an amazing Sterling. I love, I really do like it. Nice. Built in microwave, doesn't fit perfectly in there. And they're still doing some work on here in the refrigerator. Missing the handle. What a spot. I even love the way it's just almost like one big area. It's just perfect. Hop out of your bed, jump right into your living room or to your office. 
great for the mother-in-law suite, great for kids, great for the parents. I don't know, I, I wouldn't even mind living in the casita, I'm telling you. And they've upgraded him. Wow. Right behind. More storage. I think I'm in love with this casita and the 10 foot ceilings. Uh, even the way it's situated from the whole house and only access is through that one door. I really think that is amazing. So private. And welcome to Summerlin West. Well, what do you guys think? That's the Kestrel Plan 3 Falcon Crest by Woodside Homes. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.